back anything in the bedroom no I'm wondering if that quota might not have something to do with the, the one of the Hmm, little timey radio. We got like your standard. Oh, of course. Hmm, duffel bag. Nope, more of this. Better be. Oh, yeah, I do know about that because, um, I have heard a silly thing that. It's somehow related, like the con universal control is related to this. Like fixing. Until we create the condition world of which writing will become reality. Yes, that was the thing that uh, the Dark Present would do. Effectively, and I kind of also talked about this as well, I think, in the, ga in the game. Being that, what if, say, for instance, Somewhere around the lines, basically being that. Now I don't know. Uh, so and so is so and so actually really turned out to be an a hole, and people started chucking tomatoes at him, at him because they wanted to. The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. Is that, that what they do? Well. No, 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 that, that's what they do. That's what the Federal Bureau of Control does. Even the, the service weapon. Oh, uh, that's one of the dolls I need. Uh, that's the wolf doll. And uh, which final states in Streamline and Cult Lake Winter Cabins? Alright, so we got like, um. <laughs> Test sites in Cauldron Lake. Well, um, let's see. I guess I can do, uh, I might be able to do one of them. Is that the hero brave and strong left home? Well, this will be the wolf, I would believe. Uh, here, brave and strong, left home the right or wrong. On the wall, would ate what he found. Okay. I I'm trying to figure this out in my head. Here, brave and strong, left home the right or wrong. A brave and strong.
I'm wondering if this may not be related to a different uh, puzzle. Wait. Wait. Hang on. Something feels different. I should look around. Wait, so you're making me go to the... What is this? Okay, then. Wait, no. Is this what Riding Hood? Is this what this is? Uh. Oh, what the? F uh. A charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Okay. Huh. So that was strange. Got to keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. So uh I'm assuming that might be Red Riding Hood. No, I know that would have been Red Riding Hood. Now if it was Red Riding Hood it would have been that, but it's on the lines of the wolf that Jimmy came inside here and basically killed the children. Is that what you're saying here? Okay. So I guess we've done what we needed here, and I can take the, uh, so I, so it's based off of that. Uh, what's the other charm I have? Saves you from death, but that is in the process. Okay, so that's basically just a, uh, it's a fight. Car, Anderson, how's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking Uh, not quite yet. I did look up. Um, it, and apparently there are others I can find as well. Uh, next up is... In the private cabin. And let's see, there's also one for the stream... Dream side picnic attic. Which now I'm thinking of it. I think I know what the answer to the widow is. See, am I? Yep, I'm still going the correct way. Yeah, I think I know what the answer is. If it's what I think it is, then I would need to place the... I have a weird feeling something's changed. Another charm for my bracelet. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I immediately saw. Because, here's what the rhyme is. One bird for light, two for darkness, three for flight, four for struggle, five for injury, six for misery, seven for the Emmy, whatever that may be. That, I think, that, I think what that's referring to is a common, um, I think, I think it's like an urban lesson I've heard of. 
Well, it based off the number of crows that you see on a person's yard could represent uh, a something that happened. Alright. Uh, not a, next one I'm going to be doing is the private cabin. So, I'm actually legitimately going for these. Because apparently they they can give me a charm. And apparently the two I've just got in the be a sacrifice ring. And something that gives me better stun. Know the meaning of quit. That's a nice enough to that up. Middle of my fucking recording. Alright, fine. <clears throat> I actually do plan on actually getting all of the uh, these done. Because if these are actually pretty good, I. Okay, silk so don't have any. Nope. Nope. That's a wolf. It does not see me. Uh, how close am I to the private cabin? I'm actually right, like, right there. Alright. If I can get to it. There's a rhyme over here. Well, what's the rhyme? Mother crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies, doing her best. Back to the bee coming to fed, but only hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. So, let's see. I got a crow here and a wolf. So I have uh, all of them. Yeah. Yeah, I think I know what I need. It should be on here. Uh, here. Oop. Did I not use the quota? Think, Saga. Or did I not do it correctly? Wait, wait. It said heart, didn't it? That's it. Okay, it said ramp from the private cabin. Uh, well, first of all. That makes it and I do a uh, manual save. Right, and also do a quick save for obvious reasons. Oh, and there's another manuscript page. I'll definitely be taking that. Cult of the Tree. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There's a hat set. That's a bit good to go and uh blah 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 do 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 
Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forest. Or things quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story, but they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark, in the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth. The real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods. Real faces hid behind the masks. Real hands held the knives. Real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. Good to know. Yeah, that would have what I thought. Do, do I have anything else? No? Uh, nothing for any more cases? No? Oh, okay. So you said, uh, something about a lamp. Up near the lake. I did hear it. By the lake. Um, I don't see said, said birdhouse. Hang on. Wait a minute. Hang on. Uh, I did hear it coming over this way. So, why don't I go over this way? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm close. I did see a wolf. I, I heard that. I heard that. Where are ya? Another charm. Good thing Logan made me this bracelet. Well, well. 
Nice try. And, uh, let's see, what does this one do? Antler Duason. That actually could be useful. And supposedly, uh, there is another one I can do. They only did Witchfinder Station. I believe. I believe there might be one in the Wendell Cabins. And it looks like I can be able to just cut like right through the private cabin area, I believe. So I should be able to like cut like right through here, I think. In order to get to get back, I believe. Because I think I can. Uh, Why not the. Oh, what was that? There's another cult stash. Walk, walk, tree. Are you bright? Oh. How was I supposed to do this one? What? I'm sorry. I, t I don't don't. Don't. Uh, Calm down. You can figure this out as you have before. Walk, walk, tree. Are you bright enough? Okay. One of us or one of them? Getting kind of full up on items here. Yeah. And... Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to use my light. In order to uh, figure it out. Yeah. Okay, apparently someone does not want to shut up when I'm trying to do something. It's so annoying. annoying. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is I still be able to cut a uh, waifu here? Yeah. And then I can actually go, like, right back over to where that is by cutting, like, through the general store. Wait, 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 they don't see me. 
don't see me means Do they see me? Oh snap! They, they actually do see me! Okay! They actually did see me! So... Once I see them, they see me. We got got no choice but to fight. Damn. You know what? I you know what would have been funny? If you just immediately actually just uh got up to scale me. Okay, so now that I got that, I guess I can do a lot of uh That's not a good sign, is it? Warning. Activity detected. A W E. Oh! Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. Oh wait! What's an A W E? Oh, that all the board events. What exactly does the FBC do? <sighs> After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, I, I know what this is. Uh, I think the Outer World events might have been a teaser trailer for this. Might have been a teaser trailer for it, for Alan Wake 2, and we wouldn't have known at the time. And I... Yes, um, one other thing I can do is try to go for the... I don't think I can do anything else here. I think I went up somewhere that said bulk. That I would need bulk cutters. So... I guess for the moment, but I'm gonna wait till I get the bulk cutters. In order to finish off uh, this area. Alright. You ready to go? Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. 
But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's, uh... Just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you I, write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Let's see what the dog wants. I'll be right back.
Doc wanted some food and water. On the show. He's here to talk about his latest book. Oh! Oh! And as usual, our house band, uh, old gods of Asgard, is oh, here. Take it away, you crazy Vikings! Was I in a talk show tonight? Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? Yes, standing there. A warm welcome to Mr. Alan Blake. I felt a strange pull toward the TV. Hey, 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 real life, real life uh, video? I know what this is referencing, Chris. <laughs> oh, man. It is so good to see you, Alan. Uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you OK there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> You know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A, an auto-fictional thought experiment, a, a, a horror story, a postmodern detective story? Wait, this isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. <laughs> okay, you got me. Good prank, very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. Well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? Seriously, I found the, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this Hero's Journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. Yeah, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. 
All this talk of meta narratives. I have to expect them to disappear once this scene ends. <gasps> I like I like that. See, that is one thing I do like how they do games like it. In fact, I wonder if they're gonna do this with uh, Max Payne. I have heard there is development being done on that for the Max Payne remake one and two. I'm very excited to hear how they're gonna do that. Is they gonna do like real time cutscenes or whatnot? But keep in mind that that was good. Hello. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I need to Alice. It, also the thing is, I do, um. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. And I know pretty much this here, the in-between with Mr. Door. What is it? This is essentially referencing the, uh, the Tonight Show. And he goes off again! And I'm probably gonna cut it. I get the celebrity suit actually kind of works with this. Old Gods of Asgard. Old Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. <laughs> oh, come on! Come on! Are you? <laughs> I know, I don't know if that actually might be a reference to Max Payne 2. Because, um, that is one of the ones that you do have to talk, uh, figure out. And also figure out how to actually start off a four-legged animal who doesn't know when to quit barking! I know I'm yelling, but I'm yelling because apparently someone does not know when to shut up. Also, if there is any music being played by Old Gods Vasco, I will. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? You were tasting, but. Hey, hey, I know who that is. I know immediately who that is. That was the, uh, that's Dr. Doc the doctor, you're fine. For his little talks about opposite of power and control. Well, there's not so many dang reference. And even this, even this right here. I think that might be a reference to, um, uh, to the board. Yeah. Never guess. Yeah, that's what I thought. I got no gear, no items. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. Oh, I forget the name of the guy. But there was like a legitimate guy that uh, you would... Look there and it looks... I don't know if I'm feeling that I'm about to 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. A plot board for mapping a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Okay, what do we got here? Yeah. to write more. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. to the famous detective in the film series. And of course, we have Alan Wake here, the best-selling writer of the books the films are based on. Let's do this! Welcome back to the show. So, Alan. As the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I, I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, Wait. but how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Uh... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hang on, no. There's no way that that would be the same. No, I'm thinking of someone, I might be thinking of someone different. He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I. I... I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... Uh, uh, 
I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Something's different. <sighs> Whoa! I did not do that. Five, six, five, six, five. Again, no, hello. I hear singing. <laughs> ah, hey, wait, 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 I know who that is. That's Ati. Wait, hang on. I'm shaped like a uh, angel. Okay. 
no need. There you are, Tom. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. <laughs> no, I would not. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's a man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox, in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Thank you. I... I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. So fun to try to record something and have someone yipping in the background. lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. 
like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Significant, but there's like a photograph thing in here, isn't there? All right. Wait, hang on. Why do I have a feeling that somehow might be important to? Wait, everything's like... It would be like stuff for... I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. The glow in the lamp went out. Shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. If I never know what that photograph is. The thing is, I'm not necessarily even trying to like, find everything. But just... Here we go, that so. Doors. Many doors. Hmm. Now I'm on the other side. Wait a minute. Somehow... That better be rust stains. Wait, something feels different. Oh, I need a... wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real, 
It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer, the, the map, and the key, the compass that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean and a lake? That's not a lake.